Hello there, this is Alejandro and in this tutorial we will learn how to create an interactive 3D avatar like this one here. As you can see when I move my mouse, the head of the cat there is moving following the mouse and also if I hover on the face, it reacts to the light that is in front of it. So we will see how to create this type of avatar from scratch and also once we finish this model we will be making some alternative designs like these ones in here and you can see that they also will interact. All right, let's see how we can build something like this on the spine. Okay, so the first step is to create the character head. So I'm going to create a cube and it's gonna be somewhere around 200 units. I'm also going to delete this rectangle and I'm going to reset the position of the cube. Then I'm going to disable my grid and also the snapping because I don't need those. And I'm going to disable the helpers so I can see more clearly. Then I'm going to select the queue and convert this into a subdivision surface. After that, I'm going to increase the base subdivision to one so I can get um, more subdivisions in the queue. Now I'm going to enable the subdivision here and then I can start shaping the head. What I want is that I want to go to the back side of the head and then I'm going to start um, adding some shape in the back. So I'm gonna be something like this. And then I will do something similar for the front. Basically, I want the front to be a little more sharp in the bottom. And then this part here, I want it to be a little more sharp, something like this. Let me increase this to three so I can have more smooth. So I want the head to be flat in the front so I can place the eyes later. So let's see how we can do that. We can select these points in here and we can move it a little to the front. We can also select this and move this to the front so I have a little more flat area in the head. All right, so now that my head is ready, what I want now is that uh, I want to start creating the eyes. So I'm going to create a couple of cubes. Um, this is gonna be here, smooth and edit. Then I'm going to add a subdivision right there to increase here. This is gonna be my first eye. So I'm just gonna put it here and then um, just make it a little bit, maybe command D to duplicate and then just move it to the other side. Then uh, after that, let's create the mouth and the nose. So the mouth is gonna be a uh, torus. So we can create a torus like this and then we can reduce the slice and we can rotate this object. Maybe it should be a little less. Then we can rotate this object. So we have some sort of um, angle there. And then uh, we can make it a little smaller, we can increase the corner, just reduce the slice a little bit more. And then we adjust in here, when we change the subdivision in here, and also in here, and perhaps in here as well. And now we convert this to a small edit so we can edit this shape later. Um, let's also place this shape a little more close to the, the face, and let's also move these eyes a little bit more there, perhaps uh, changing the angle as well. Okay, let's go with the nose, which is gonna be a duplicate of this. And let's put it uh, on the top here. And let's go and edit a little. So the nose is gonna be just a little pointy in here. And then a little smaller. And then we can put it inside. It's gonna be somewhere around there. Um, so let's move the mouse a little bit uh, to the bottom, so it's a little better. The eyes could help me to build uh, some eyebrows. So I'm going to choose uh, duplicate the eye, and then um, I'm gonna go to the top and change the orientation. It's gonna be something like this. A little smaller, maybe longer. Just a little bit more. Something like that. And so another thing that we can do is that we can um, change a little the angle. So we can go to the points and then we can change a little the angle there. I can select this face and I can block it so it's easier for me to select the objects. And then what I want is I want to duplicate this object, put it on the other side. And now I just, uh, I want to scale it a little and also scale this a little and then rotate this one in here and rotate this one in here. And then finally, we can move them a little more to the inner so they're not kind of like intercepting. Perhaps we can also move uh, everything a little bit, a little bit to the, the bottom. Maybe you can rotate them as well. So it's gonna be something like this. So now that we have 
the all of the components of the face um, let's build the ears which is gonna be on the size and those are just gonna be a couple of cubes so let's say for example this is one let's put it um, a little smaller like this then we can put it here and now we can increase the subdivision in here just a little bit and perhaps we can also add a little bit of an extrusion so I'm going to select this face and I'm going to create an inside extrusion like this and then uh, a little bit of an extrusion like this we can also change a little bit the shape so it's going to be more um, pointy at the top and then we can put this a little bit this position here so usually the ears um, kind of are between the eyes and the mouth so maybe it should be a little like this position here and um, we can scale a little bit then we can duplicate we can put the other one in the other side and then we can inverse the scale so that's gonna be somewhere like that all right so our face is um, getting there but we still need to work on the hair let's see so the hair is gonna be I think something like this right and so we need to make sure that we have a shape that is going to cover this area so I think um, another cube is gonna help us to build that shape so perhaps something like this and then we can put it here kind of like it has enough volume yeah something like that should work let's uh, smooth and edit and then let's start adding some subdivisions so I'm just going to add more subdivisions here and here and perhaps uh, another here let's increase the subdivision in here and let's start shaping this a little so the first thing is that we want a, a curvature in this side we want something like this and so make sure that we have kind of like a shape that is following some sort of curvature and then um, for this sides here we want to make sure to extend this so it goes uh, a little bit over the middle of the head actually we need this to be a little more rounded something like that and, and I believe this part here to follow the shape as well so we can set these polygons in here we can also kind of like make it move um, like for the shape right so this one in particular maybe it should be more to the top and for the bad part we can set this and we can move it to one side because we want the, the part and the back to be more rounded right it's gonna be like that and then we can keep we can keep shaping things until they have like a more natural look you can see here that we need a little bit more roundness in the top and we can keep like shaping everything else it should be something like that all right um i think we can move this a lot more to the side because we will need to cover more area there so let's move this a lot more to the side and then let's move this a lot more to this side in here something like that i think okay I think like one thing that we need is that we need this to be a little more sharper so we can have uh, a subdivision here so we can have more detail then uh, we can start like shaping this thing a little bit more so yeah something like that I think it's better and yeah let's just keep shaping everything until things look good enough right so in here again this should be more like a curvature all right so it's, uh, it's almost getting there let's just keep checking things and for the bottom part I feel like uh, we need more um, subdivisions as well so it needs to be a little more sharper there and you can see here in this part um, it's looking a little weird so let's see what, how we can improve that one so let's move maybe this point a little bit more this way and I feel like these two they also need to be a little different something like this and all right so at this point what I can do is that I can duplicate this shape and then I can inverse the scale and I can put it on the other side but uh, this side it could be a little bit smaller 
so it could be let's say for example something like this perhaps a little more to the to the to the back and we can increase that size a little bit here as you can see we can see actually a little bit of the of the ear right there uh, but i think in general we can increase decrease the size of this to be more like this perhaps um for for this part in here i think we can move this shape a little bit more to the top that seems about right um we, perhaps we can do the same in this one in here as well then uh, just move a little bit this way so now we have something that is a little bit closer to a head then uh, we can move this one to here so we are covering the back side I think it's uh, it's getting pretty close right now, but um, perhaps it's a little bit to um, kind of like look a little uh, strange right there. So uh, what I can do is that I can try optimizing the curvature just a little bit. I know, for example, that we can increase a little bit here and we can balance the shape. And we can also kind of like try to optimize this shape in this side so it's not so so B and we can also do the same in here so yeah just uh, trying to make it a little more more natural uh, now we can start adding the the body and the body is going to be uh, another cube it's going to be something like this I think and um, then uh, this cube is going to have this proportion and we're going to put it here so it's going to be like the body and we can increase the subdivision in here um, a little bit more and then we can add some subdivisions um, we need uh, one in here we also need one here and one in here and perhaps um, we also need one in here so now let's just start shaping this a little bit so we know that everything in the top should be a little more like this and um, perhaps um, it could be a little more like this as well and the subdivision here is to maintain the bottom more sharp if we select all, all of the other objects and we press command g we can create a group and this is going to be face and now we can disable the face for now and then i can go to the top and then i can start like shaping this so for example this is going to be something like this a little more round and we can do the same for this just adding a little more volume to make things um, just a, li a bit more round yeah so that's uh, looking a little better but now from the front it also needs to be more round so we can increase the roundness in here we also need to decrease this a little more like this um, actually this one here needs to be like that so that's fine and if we look at from this side we can do the same we can make it um, a little smaller just a little more round all right but now that we have our main shape here what we can do is that we can create an extrusion in this part um so i'm actually going to create a duplicate of this and then i'm going to work on this part in here then um, i'm going to select this one in here and then i'm going to use an inset extrusion something like this and now here what i want is to create an octagon because this is going to be a circle for the neck so i'm going to select the corner points and then scale them a little bit holding shift so we can scale proportionally something like that and then i think we need to scale this a little bit this way as well so i think um, i need just a little bit more adjustment in this case right there okay so now we can select these ones and we can do an extrusion little bit here and then another one and then finally another one like that okay so that's gonna be like the neck of the character if we show our face now we see that <laughs> um, it's kind of there but it's maybe maybe too too big so we can what we can do is that first we need to move this a little bit to the front and then what we can do is um, can scale the body just a little bit like this so okay scaling a bit then moving this like this um, and now uh, what we can do is that we can select everything again 
and we go to the front and we set it all of the polygons and then we can make them by holding shift and all we can make them a little bit bigger so uh, just a little bit i'll say something like this should work all right if we look things from this side um i still think maybe we need to adjust uh, this one in here so let me just put it a little bit like this so it's more natural and for our hair we can actually set it the two of them move them a little to the top so now we have something like this and i think we can still making these two a little more um maybe this needs to be a little more to the back so right now the head seems to be um too big in comparison with our body so i think our body needs um, a little more depth so let's select some points in here and let's uh, try to scale this a little so we make a better contrasting with the head and and then again we can increase the sizes so it feels more natural all right, so it would be nice if this character is using some sort of um, cloth, right? So in order to create the cloth, what we can do is that we can uh, duplicate our cube and then uh, we disable the previous one. And in this duplicate, we will delete all of the vertices that we don't need, like all of those, because we don't need them. And then we can also delete these uh, polygons in here and this and this we are going to also delete these ones in here as well and then what we can do is that we can put this a little bit to the top something like this i think that should work and now we can use a little trick which is that if you select all of the polygons in there we can extrude this using the extrusion tool and then it's going to be something very big don't worry and then we can enable our previous object and then we can make this object smaller so it kind of like fits right there just make sure that you have something that is not too big right and um, yeah just a little bit maybe less there something like that all right so now that we have our model ready we can start working on the materials